Hey there, YouTubers. Well, I'm setting up the uh, continuous weave rectangular loom, and we're going to try weaving on it now. I've done one real quick cheap sample piece, and I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, but other than that, I have not woven on it. That was just a test case with the cheapest acrylic yarn I could buy at Walmart, just to get a feel for how the machine works. And I decided I need a little bit thicker yarn. So let's go get that yarn, and then we'll start putting this uh, scarf together. All right, I've moved the camera from the far side of the room over that way to right here now. We're looking at the other end of the loom. I'm going to zoom in on the loom in just a second. First off, let's talk about the yarn I've got. The first experimental project I did, uh, that red and yellow one that I showed you a quick still picture of, was the cheapest standard, what I'd call a standard size yarn. It's a, the knitters call it, or the crochet, crocheters call it, a number four sized yarn. And I didn't think I got quite a um, thick enough to number of ends per inch with that, whatever. But since it's hard to change it on this loom based on the fact that my nails are one centimeter apart, <coughs> this time I'm going with a thicker uh, yarn. I'm still experimenting with this, so I don't want to use the real expensive stuff. So again, it's a um, acrylic yarn. I got this at Joanne Fabrics. It's a number five yarn. I have no idea what these numbers really mean but it seems like the bigger the number the thicker the yarn and so this again is a red heart and it's a chunky yarn okay so first thing we're going to do I'm going to set it down I've got a piece of yarn here and I'm going to zoom you in on the upper corner of the loom I'm going to take and just put a little overhand slip knot in there just like that I know it's dark you know it's a really cloudy dreary day outside so I'm not getting as much light in the window as I'd like so I'll put that over the first thread in the corner then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I count over 10 20 30 threads 30 nails because remember I, I every tenth nail I put a different color, a white one. So now we'll go up the top one, two, no, one, two, three go around that one and let's turn the camera and keep going one, two, three go around that one there's the center of the loom pull out some more yarn Turn the camera. One, two, three. Put down on this one. One, two, three. There's my next one. One, two, three. Around this one. And up to the far corner. Then we come back, go around up there, come around here, around the next nail over to the right, next nail over to the right, next nail over to the right, next nail over to the right. Next nail over to the right. And there we are. Let's zoom you in on here. So now I'm just going to start weaving back and forth. Okay, so yeah, it came loose. But we'll redo this. Set this little excess bit over there. I'm coming up now after this first time across all the way back and I'm, I, I started on the corner nail. I'm going up 
to the first nail to the right of that. Are you recording, you stupid camera? Let me check. Yes, you are. Okay, so we're up over that first nail, and we're going to go past the corner nail to the first nail on the side and around it. Okay, so now what we have to do, since we're over that, we need to go under this first thread and over the second thread. So I'm just going to reach through here like this, grab it and pull. Well, actually, I got to go down to here to do that. Now, now I do it down here. Like I said, I'm learning this technique still myself. So we're going to go through there. I'm going to go through back and grab this and pull it up. Now let's turn you over to this way. So we've got effectively two threads going. But we're only going to be worried about this one. This one will just kind of hang by itself for a while. Now I'm going to flip this over. And I had a hard time. There was a lady trying to show me this down at Sheep and Wool Festival. She kept talking about twisting left and right. I had a hard time understanding that. I simply know that I want to go over the very next nail up in this position. And then I want to go under the next thread and over the third one and pull my nail through. Okay, now I'm going to turn the camera off, move it so I'm a little bit closer over here and then let you look at me doing this again. Maybe I'll move the camera this way. Okay, let's try this again. So we've got these couple of threads here, but I'm only worried for the moment about this one. This loose end is kind of what it'll be. So we're going down and we're taking the first nail to the left because we're going from left to right. So we will go to the left nail and we'll go around that. And I'm just bringing this back up this way. And then I'm going to reach in between and pull that through. And in effect what I have done is woven under the middle one and over the end one. So that's going to be right. And now we'll go up to this position up here. We're first nail to the left. We're going to go around it and pull back like this and then reach underneath the middle thread and pull this through. We've got enough thread there so we'll move the camera a little bit. Turn the light so you can get a little bit better view. We're coming down to the nail just to the left of the first one. Again, because we're coming from left to right. We'll go up to here over this nail. Whoops, I forgot to do my weaving here. We'll go back to this one where I forgot. Come back up to here and go through the middle. There we go. That was an important mistake to catch myself making. We'll come up to the first nail here, come back and reach through and pull like that. Let's go to the far end, move the camera again. down to the nail to the left, go around it and come back to where I can grab, go through so I get a weave there, up to this corner, over that one and down to the next nail on the downside. And that was wrong because I forgot to go through again. So I keep I'm, like I said, I'm learning this. 
So I'm going to back up, go through here like this, and pull that guy through. And now go over the next nail. Now because I did all those going throughs over there, this one I don't have to worry about that. It's already set up correctly. All I have to do is go around the nail. This has already been woven. Just need enough thread to work with it. And around that nail. And again, this has already been woven. Let's move you in really close on the middle so you can see this. I know this moving of the tripod is a pain. And I'm going to zoom you way in. Okay, let's. I'm going down to the bottom to the next nail to the right because now we're going from right to left. Give us another. You can see, I hope you can see, that when I pull, it has already what we're over, under, over. Now we'll go over the next nail. And our weaving has already been done because we did the weaving when we're going from left to right. When we're returning from right to left, we're just, the thread that we're using is the one that was the spare that was following us before. So we'll come down. Let's see if we can aim you down here. Yep. Down to here. Around the next thread. And you can see we're still all set up. Let me move on to this side. And you just follow me down to the end. Over the next nail here. Down here. and up to the corner top nail again and now I'm just going to continue this process for a while I think you can see how it's working and we'll keep going and I'll show you again when I get a little bit farther on with this okay I've gone back and forth twice so one two three four threads across so now I want to change colors and I'm going with a lighter blue again I'm going to make a little bit of a slip knot loop nothing very fancy I'm not going to tie a change I'm experimenting I've seen some people on YouTube that tie a knot here I don't like knots and stuff if I can avoid it so I'm just going to slip this over the next nail Tighten it up and get that loose tail end out of the way and come down to the next spot. Let's see if I've got that yet. Over the next nail to the left. And now you can see how I'm going to actually do some weaving. I'm going to go behind the, in front of the very first thread, behind the next in front of the next, behind, in front, behind and I'm going to pull this through like that and that leaves me with a, a plain weave of over, under, over, under, over, under right there and this piece of thread just kind of hangs there and goes its own merry way and follows me now let's move up to here Here's where I'm doing that little twist. Again, come down and I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, and pull through. Down to my next nail on the bottom here. Where are we? Over here. I'm going back, so I've in effect got a double there. Over, under, over, under, over, under. 
So the really the weaving here is not being done with shafts like on my big loom, but just with my finger. And again, I'm going to continue on to the other side of the loom. This is going to get repetitive, so I'll turn the camera off and do a couple rows. I got a little bit more light this morning, YouTubers, so maybe I'll be able to, for you to see this better. Uh, the sun's out, so that's better than the cloudy day we had yesterday. I've seen people use um, crochet hooks to do this and I can understand that if you're running out of space but I prefer just grabbing with my fingers to do the actual weaving you gotta pick up every second thread and go through like that let's pull a little bit more yarn through there's my beater and we'll just put that down like that. And we go up over the next thread. And I like to come straight back like this. Just to keep track of where I am. Then I take whichever thread is behind. And I lift up. So that's every second thread. Because I'm doing an effect plane weave. Now I'm going to take this one and just pull it through like that. I've gone through about half of it. We'll come down to here again. Hopefully you can see that the light blue one is behind this dark blue one. So I'm going to go in and pick up the light one. Then pick up every second thread. Like this. There, now that chunk is woven. Let's aim you down just a little bit. To there. We're going to do this one more time. We'll come around this nail, back up out of the way, pick up every second thread. And pull up through. And let's go up just a little bit. So hopefully you can see and understand the process I'm following. I've got a long way to go with this, but I just thought I'd break in at about the not quite the halfway point and show you what I'm doing. <laughs> 